Okay, so then next step is I, I wanted to just simply install GUVC View because now I'm, I'm sold that that's that's the best and only one for Logitech right now that could that could handle sound. You know, I, I'm not going to put a YouTube video up that has me doing sign language or holding up cue cards and then <laughs> for a little while I resorted to this and decided to pick up my my droid and move on. So okay so let me get to this. First of all there's there's two parts to using um, loading software in, in SUSE. First you have to have <coughs> and this is not the case with Ubuntu. If the Ubuntu, all you have to do is maybe add a few repositories, and it's very simple to do. It, you copy and paste the part of a web page that they point out to you, and that's that's it. Um, but for SUSE, first you have to find their web page where they list their various repositories for software. And the next thing you have to do is you have to copy that, that uh, web browser link they point you to into two parts when you configure your repositories. So here's Yas. I don't know why they got an elephant on it, <laughs> for God's sakes. Here's the software repositories, and I'll tell you what the end result is for mine, at least so far. I've added these here uh, came with the distribution. I've added the Java, the Wine, the Videoland, the Pac-Man, the Contrib the contrib, and I don't know why ETI's in there. I already have the drivers. I probably wouldn't even want to have that enabled anymore. I don't know. I have to uncheck that. Okay, so to add one of these things is the way you do it. Um, just say okay, or is it going to close on me? Yeah, it closed on me. <laughs> it's another thing. Things seem to close. You know, you don't have an apply key. You can't say apply and then continue on. Okay, so if you want to add a repository, you, cl you click on Add, and then you get all these options, and there, I'll tell you right now, there are way too many of them. I'll just show you what I do. So I'm going to... Uh, search for these repositories. You see it's purple. You see I've been there before. Come on. And basically, it isn't just on this page. The first thing they go into, okay, these are the additional repositories. Let's go up to here. Usually, I find this page first. And basically, the end at the end of the day, you don't have to do anything with any of these because these already come with up to here, up to debug. Those when you install OpenSUSE, those are automatically added to your repository list. So this is just nothing you need to know or even worry about. Unless you can't install anything and you're wondering why, then okay, go ahead and add those, but those shouldn't be at the top. Okay. I'm drinking a lot of... whatever that is. I'm Italian, but I don't speak Italian. Okay, and then they got this contrib. And what I did... Now there's this thing called factory. I have no idea what the fuck that means. I know I'm using version 11.3. So what I did is I clicked on this. I highlighted this up here, copied it, and then went over here, and I said, now remember where I was. Where was I? Manage software repositories. I said add, and then this came up. Got it? Good. Okay, so then I selected HTTP, and then I go next, and then what I... What I had to do is you give it a name, and let's just call this, you know, widget. I'm not going to add this because um, I already have this one in there, but I'll, I'm doing this so you can see. Call it whatever you want. Don't call it widget. Call it something descriptive. And actually, in this case, since these are the contribs, I would call it contrib. So later on, if you're able to decipher that a program was installed from this repository, these are different servers at different places and different sets of software that people compile for you so it's ready and available for you to download and use. And I selected HTTP. I think I did it at the beginning. You can change that if you change your mind. Now, it says server name. And the first time I did this, it was not clear to me. But 
all that means, I've copied this whole thing here. All I got to do is delete the HTTP, and after the .org, I just got to cut, cut, and then I go down here and directory on server. All that means is just this stuff here, and then I click, and then I just click on next. And then it's going to ask me to import some GPG keys the next time I do an install. And you go ahead and you, you say yes. And that's it. And so you have your various repositories. And some of the repositories that you would want are probably the ones I have included in my packages already, which include the Java, the Wine, the Pac-Man. The Pac-Man are the Video Land. Video Land so you can get VLC on there and you can play DVDs. And Pac-Man's a part of that whole that whole um, mix and the people at Pac-Man they'll compile software that SUSE doesn't compile that you might want but in this case and in my situation GUVC was not available okay uh, the only packages that were available were, were packages that don't really work for me and they're placed in the, the oddest places I've ever seen so VLC is an audio player apparently um, this GT cam, all this does, and this web cam application, all these do is capture video. I'm not even clear as to where this saved. This one, set this WX cam seg faulted out when I tried to save or change the name of where I was going to put the video. The um, let's see, where's the LUCV? The uh, the program LUC view doesn't even show up on that. So I have to go to the console for it, and this thing is absolutely um, UVC. It's absolutely counterintuitive. I don't see what button I need to push. What button I need to push to save this? I don't know. And basically, the only app you really can use, um, and, and when I tried VLC, Remember, in Ubuntu, uh, I got to the point where um, uh, when I when I made my videos, it didn't even make... It, it, when I finally got to the point where I was able to make sound, the, 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 the picture was, was blurry, wasn't even usable. Um, and this one, it won't even create a video file in, in the version that's installed in here. And I did the same things I did in Ubuntu. Same parameters. And it came out with a zero byte file <laughs> at the end of the day. Uh, things are showing up in strange places in SUSE, and um, installing applications is, is showing itself to be painful. I have also noticed that Kmail has crashed, uh, crashed down on me a few times to the point where uh, it, it, it's usable, but you have to be willing to put up the fact that it's just going to stop on you sometimes. Um, so that's pretty much the state of SUSE besides that. You're going to be able to do the same things you can do in Ubuntu. You, know, you can still browse the web. You can still watch your YouTube videos. Um, show you and it has audio and that's that's about it you still have the same for the most part, you still have your same range of apps. Now, what I'm trying to do is I download the source code for um, GUVC View from this site right here. It's hosted by Berlioz. I've got it here, and I guess I'll go through the steps of what you need to do to compile software in my next one.